So this is another way to get the uh, cams to work. Yeah. Well, actually, before I mess with this, I'm going to duplicate it down here and duplicate. This is give me snail cam copy. I'm going to rename it. Snail cam with spline. So part of the problem when you try and get this cam uh, to follow is it, you know, this line ends, it ends right there. So, so, so I'm going to try something. I actually have not prepared for this. I'm going to delete the extrusion and go into the sketch. Um, do normal too. And now I'm going to use a spline with a bunch of points to try to approximate this. So spline is just this curvy tool. You can see how it works. The more points I connect, the curvier it gets. Um, and now I can put it on here and hopefully extrude that one. We keep the circle. I think I need to delete this one in the background though. When I think about this, well, let's see what happens. And they say the more dots you use, the better. So I'm gonna get as many as I can in here. Now, you see that perpendicular constraint that keeps popping up? That may end up being a problem. We might have to go through and delete all those. We'll see how it goes. Notice how quickly this can go off the rails if you miss. Um, to be clear too, I mean, this is just to show the motion. It doesn't have to be perfect. When you send this to a manufacturer, you'd send them the actual cam. smaller the curve, the more I tend to overdo it. Now the question is if I should go and erase the existing one. And the question is how do I erase this existing one? Can I zoom in really close and see it? Yeah, I think I can. So uh, I'm still on spawn, get out of spawn. Uh, I think I want to pick this one, delete it, kept the spline, that's nice, I think it's this one, I'll know when I go up here if it, yeah, see I picked the spline that time, no I didn't, oh there it is, yep, I picked the spline that time, so let's delete that one, a little bit off, dimensions aren't quite right now. That's okay. Zoom in here. Really, really tight. Spline's gonna be the one that just keeps going. So I want the other ones. That looks like I already deleted that one. Delete. So spline, not spline. Spline, not spline. If it bothers you that it's off that much, then next time use more pieces. I don't think I really need to delete any more of these, but I'm going to just to be thorough. Spline, not spline. All right, cool. All right, let's extrude that. I already forgot how much I'm extruding it. I was 0.125. I can always come back and fix it. It really is not that big a deal. Check mark. I got this funky little bumpy spline. Yeah, that'll work. On shape. Tomata, cam's handle box pieces. 
So let us delete this. Hopefully deleted all of the, yeah. And let's insert one other. No, other documents, mod shape, automata, and make sure we get the right one. Not the snail cam. Oh, notice the silliness again. I have to update. Let me do that. Sure, version four, whatever. It's an interesting little thing. Now we'll see the preview. This will take a moment. Yeah, let's see what generates the previews. Snail cam with spline. That's all I want. Put it there, check mark. I want to spin it and I want to drag it. Uh, right about there should be fine. Just happened. That's weird. Okay, you rotate. Uh, I think I want it the other way. Confused. I like to crank this that way. I crank this. It stays on there. That should do it. Okay. I have to fasten you with you. And then I have to offset it. Uh, let's see what axis that is. Z is correct. Positive negative two tab. Wrong one. Negative. And more than that, let's go with negative 3.1. Negative 2.5. Seven. Six five. Yes, it's a disease. I'm aware of it. All right, let's see how we did. Grab this and crank it. All right, it's working. Now we have to do that tangent constraint thing. I'm going to take this and drag it up a little bit. Get a little space in there. And tangent constraint. I wonder if I want to use the face or the edge. I'll try the face first. I never remember which one. Uh, that'd be no. So let's try it backwards. That and then the whole face again. That'd be no. Tangent, face, edge. And yeah, it works. Nice. I was watching something the other day and they said it would work. I didn't believe it. Uh, so this is Revolut. Let's animate. I don't know why it comes back. I don't want it to reciprocate. I want it to loop. I want the steps to be much faster. Yeah, there's a little glitchy there where it comes down and grabs that before it gets shot up. But that's okay. It'll still do what we want it to do. That's pretty cool stuff. All right. So there it is. How to get your cams to work. Uh, by the way, there's videos on how to make the cams. I just kind of slapped them together. I didn't really care. Uh, and I did not do the hex. You might have to go in and do that whole process for the hex loop. Really doesn't take that long. That's about it. Good luck.